reflect your <laughs> yeah. antenna. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a solution. Yeah, that's, that's a kind of Apple uh, at one point in, uh, I don't know if it was System 9 or OS 10. I think it was System 9. Uh, was notorious for uh, error 11s, which are hard crashes, and Apple fixed those error 11s by just changing the error message. <laughs> Still had the hard crashes. And here's the little SIM adapter. You kind of, you know, kinda so, goes in there and makes it back full. So that's the thing that, we, and you can remove that with a paper clip. They, they have yeah. to put a little hole in there. Right. But, but again, Apple's telling is not telling anybody to swap SIMs. Right. Yeah. You, you, you just you, get a brand new SIM. You're going to get a brand new SIM card that comes along with your phone. So I don't know. I'm in a kind of a gray area here where I have an unactivated phone, um, but I'm going to just plug it in and see what, what yeah, iTunes when says. You, when you activate it at the store, they just plug it in. Yeah, and it just automatically... All right, well, let's let's see here. I'm just going to... I could give it a new number. Yeah. I could create a, a new a new account. What the, what the heck? Why not? <laughs> and I'll just use that for the time being. I like my old number. Uh, and this could be the studio number. Or I could give it away. Contest. Actually, I, I, if you hadn't got one, I actually I brought one to, uh, for a loaner phone today. You so are I, so I, nice, Wayne. I can't. I just can't believe how generous you are. Thank you. <laughs> we were going to let you borrow one. I got an you iPhone got 3GS you can go, we can give away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that on Gazelle. Yeah. I want to plug this in and see what I can do here for... The one thing I was interested in was the uh, the LCD front apparently was glued, uh, so it's harder to replace the screen. I know you were mentioned that earlier, yeah, it's, but I... it's um on the um on the three G or on the three GS you can actually separate the digitizer and the LCD. Um, what we found on the iPhone four, it's kind of fused together, kind of like the original iPhone was. When, uh, when we yeah, replaced okay. Those, we had to replace the whole um, the digitizer and, and the LCD together, and they they went back to that yep. just because it's closer but it's easier to get the battery out now yeah, it is it just kind of pops out with one screw and it pops talk, right out did you talk about the yellowing at all? we did talk about the yellowing in fact brian brushman claims to have the yellowing do what, what's your sense wayne of that yellowing is it uh, is it the glue that's what one person on apple insider said is it evaporated after a while yeah or I, that's what i i was i was is that actually, your sense of it i was reading one? this morning while i was standing in line at mm -hmm. the apple store that it just kind of disappears after a, a right period. Right. Days, so. so I'm unboxing this new 32 gigabyte iPhone 4 that Tom Merritt picked up for me. That's beautiful. Just gorgeous. And I'm going to plug, I guess I just plug this in. Or do I turn it on first and then yeah. plug it in? Turn it on first and it's going to say, uh, excuse mm -hmm. me, but are you nuts? Mm -hmm. Are you nuts? So it does have a, a residual charge. These come actually mostly fully charged, yeah, they do. They which is kind of nice. I'm not taking this one apart. How much was this, Tom? 600 so, uh, just on, it was a uh, 700 something, 790 I think, <laughs> yeah. with tax. So yeah, it was 699, but then you had the tax. California has to get that. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. Cause and because, is... and mine, mine was more expensive. How could yours be more? I asked the guy, I was like, wait a minute, why was mine more? He's like, well, because you get the activation charge. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to get that, I guess, $18. too. Then, right? You'll probably have to pay that later. Yeah, but yeah, mine that'll be just charged to my bundled. iTunes. All right. Yeah. So now I plug it in. Whoops. Wake up. There we go. Let's see what happens here. So five minutes for the uh, restore, and now it's into the sink. That's what's going to take a long time. Oh, okay. Because it's reinstalling all firmware. of the... Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, all of now the... Now, mine is saying uh, Apple agree, you disagree, a software license for iTunes. I guess this is the first time I've launched the new iTunes. I don't oh, think yeah. that that would normally pop up I there. had to do a t terms of service when I started restoring this one. Oh, now I have to update, update my iTunes library. This might take a while. Oh, yeah. You want to put this back together, Wayne? Or is yeah, that what you're yeah, going to do? Put it back together He's going to prove that the man yeah, not only can take them apart, but he can assemble them. That's the tricky part. Yeah. And I do <laughs> not... Oh, and they are saying, and this makes good sense, to keep my old number because I have grandfathered yeah, in the, the $30 data yeah, plan. I would keep it. And I think I am going to keep that. Uh, that was one thing that I... I didn't understand well is that even though i'm you know signing up for a new contract when you get a new iphone you don't lose your unlimited data plan i right. thought when you signed up for the new contract they'd take that opportunity to say eh, sorry buddy but they uh, they're yeah. nice enough to let you stay
The question is, and I don't know, I'd have to look at usage. It might be more more economical for me not to keep the unlimited data plan, to, to go for the 2 gigabyte $25 plan, just because maybe I don't use that much. I suspect I don't. What the uh, what the guy, Pat, who was helping me out at the Apple store suggested, because uh, he said an, another person came in and wanted to switch, he's like, keep the unlimited plan for the first month. Check usage. Check your usage Good and idea. then decide, Good because idea. that way you don't lose the unlimited plan. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to keep it, and uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, I don't know what we'll do. I don't, I can't imagine that in any way the phone that I've ordered will be tied to the phone number that I ordered it through. So I imagine I'll be able to get a different number for that phone. No, well, you can't add tethering if you keep your unlimited plan, yeah. I believe. You have, if you want to add the wanna, tethering, yeah, you, you have tethering, to switch the contract. So. Sons of beaches. <laughs> <laughs> they have tethering now? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty dollars a month. Twenty a month, and it tethers. Now, see, I have tethering, free tethering through T-Mobile on my Nexus One, so I'll just use that. And I have a MiFi as well. But Leo, d didn't we see looking at your usage that you were? I was under two mega, uh, two gigabytes. Yeah. It's only when you're using Wi-Fi really in the office. But that I were... was that my iPad? That was your iPad, yeah. Yeah. See, so I don't know on the phone. I, you know, I haven't had an iPhone for a while. I haven't used it for a while. Brian Monroe says I can go to the AT and C store to have a new SIM put in. I don't know what that, why that. I don't. I, I'm the, the real. I think I should be able to activate this with my old phone number. Yeah, you should. I don't think there's. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't that. be able. Yeah, to. we'll see. Some people are saying no. You got to go to AT and T. Don't really want to. Well, go it's not to like AT &T. I put a new SIM in this one. The only difference right. between what you're doing and what I did doing is I did it in the store. In the store but there wasn't right. like any no, special no. I should be stuff. The guy just plugged it into iTunes. Right. <laughs> Do we still have Gary's phone? <laughs> Poor Gary. Gary, Gary. once again, Gary Koffler, thank you so much for leaving your phone with us, but you might want to come get it or have us bring it to you because at this point, we're getting a lot of messages for Gary, people bitching and moaning and saying, where are you, Gary? Why aren't you answering? Why did you... Sh How come I'm getting all these calls from strangers? Your phone sucks. Your phone sucks. Just, yeah, just say that. It's a new iPhone. Hey, we want to thank our friends at Slingbox for making this possible. We... Uh, we really want to do more live coverage of breaking tech news like this. Uh, it's always been our mission to bring you conferences, live stories as they happen. Now with Tom Merritt and Becky Worley and Sarah Lane on the staff, we really we can do a lot more. And one of the most important things we think is live breaking news coverage. And we were looking for a sponsor for this, and Slingbox stepped up and said, we would like to support you in doing this. And so thank you, Slingbox. Anytime you uh, hear about a breaking news item in technology, you come to live.twit.tv. We'll be talking about it. And don't forget to use Slingbox to watch your favorite TV shows when you're away from home. To find an in-store demo at a Best Buy near you, visit slingbox.com. And the first thing I'm going to do is put that Slingbox app on my iPhone. Although uh, I've heard and, I, and a lot of people have said that the uh, Android app is the best version of the Slingbox so far. The new one is, yeah. is good? It's pretty impressive. I'll, you know what? I'll give you, um, I'll give you a demo next uh, next time I'm on TNT. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, waiting for activation. This may take some time. <laughs> this is, this All is right. literally breaking news, by the way. And we're breaking. Oh, yeah, breaking. We're breaking we put the, the breaking iPhone. into breaking yeah. news. Yeah, <laughs> so let's get started. Register your phone. Set up your iTunes Store account. Well, I got all of that. Uh, I have read the forty-five page <laughs> EULA, and uh, look at it. I'm a speed reader. Just, Could you read it aloud? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Important. By using your iPhone, you are agreeing to be bound by the following Apple and third-party terms. Please read this software license agreement carefully before using your iPhone or downloading the software update accompanying this license. By using your iPhone or downloading the software update as applicable, you are agreeing to be bound by the terms of this license unless you return the phone in accordance with Apple's return policy. If you do not agree to the terms of this license, do not use the iPhone or download this software update. If you do not agree to the terms of this license, you may return the iPhone with a return period for the Apple Store authorized distributor with your data for a refund. Subject to Apple's return policy, find at apple.com slash legal slash slayers underscore Policy. This will be one of our 30 shows in August, Dramatic Readings of EULAs. Yeah, we're going to launch 30 new shows in the 30 days in August. And the 